Hey everyone, I'm Sandia Conti for Ring TV. I have Avery Sparrow, A plus. First of all, I'm, how are you? How are you doing? I'm great. I'm wonderful. I'm blessed. I'm humble for this opportunity, and I'm just taking advantage of it. It's fun. When you got the call from Golden Boy, or I'm not exactly sure how it all went down. What did you think? Did you were you anticipating that you wanted to fight Ryan Garcia? Because there are other names um, out there. Yeah, absolutely. A great division um, you're in. They um they offered me Ryan Garcia once before. Um, it didn't it didn't transpire into anything. But um, my whole time, my whole career, man, I, I focus on the world champions. So if you're a world champion, I see, I train, and I and I work out, and I and I base my talents and abilities off the world champions. So in my eyes, I was looking at Lomachenko. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The the world champion. So Ryan Garcia, just another step in the way to get to Lomachenko, and that's how I see it. Well, you have been out of the ring for a bit. I don't know how much you can share, but what have you been doing in that time? I know you've been training. Yeah. What else have you been doing? Have you been hanging out with Canelo? Yeah. But what's been going on? I've been goofing off. I've been not training. You know, I've just been uh, just throwing my life. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Uh, you know, I've just been handling things outside the ring that needed to be handled, as in management, everything, you know, the whole picture of things. And now that it's been uh, figured out for the most part, um, I have a fight in front of me, and he's not—he's not a guy that's gonna lay down. He's from Philly. He—he he, he wants to—he wants to be the man. I can see it in him. He wants to be that guy, but uh, he's not gonna go past me. I promise you that. You're considered a roadblock because he wants the world champions. He wants the Lomachenko's, the Luke Campbell's, but you are his roadblock. What do you see him as to get to that? Uh, to get to that status to become a world champion? Well, the. The best thing that could happen for him is to beat me and upset me. But, okay, let's talk about Ryan Garcia. Since you are stepping in the ring, you are going Mexican Mexican Independence Day. Absolutely. Congratulations. That's a huge day. You. You're going to what we call it war grounds. Yes. Dignity, health, sports, park. I always yes. screw up the name. What do you want to show those fans? Because they're going to be coming out for Ryan. What are you going to? What um, do you intend to take some of his fans for them to be um, screaming "Orale"? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I get it. I get it. But in this sport, it's a, it's it's a, um it's 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 boxing. So um, Ryan has his support team. He did he did everything to get his support team. And um, I just want to win the fight. I'm not focused on the fans. I'm not focused on um, on what they think about me. I'm going to go and put on the best performance that Avery Sparrow can put on, and that's all I'm going to do. He has a great opportunity in front of him, um, but I, I, there's no way he's beating me. There's no way. I, I don't see that him beating me. What do, you, what do you see in him? I know that you always look for uh, d some weaknesses. Do you see things, I mean, or do you just really consider this a challenge for you? It's a challenge for me. Uh, he's, a, he's a crafty fighter. You, you watch him. He has speed. He has counter punches. It's going to take me uh, to bring out that Mexican fighter in me. I'm going to uh, take it to him nonstop. And I, I, I suspect him to fold to one of my punches. If not, you know, break him down and, and go to war and see what he could do. Oh, well, you know, you are doing it at the right place. Oh, I just, my, my oh my God, look at my heel just stabbed. Oh, God, Whoa. With the red bottoms. Oh, Sorry, oh. and I'm like falling. Okay. Okay, well, you are coming to War Grounds, uh, Dignity Health Sports Park, yes. formerly StubHub Center. This is going to be an exciting fight. I can't wait. Do you have a prediction for your fight? No prediction. Uh, just going to give the fans what I bring to the table, explosive speed and power. You know, uh, if he could handle it, he can. And if he can't, there it is. What do you study fights or do you have your trainers study fights um, and do you I'm, watch I'm fights? I'm a boxing fan. Okay, so I'm a boxing watch. fan. I watch I watch Good. fights. So as far as studying and psyching myself out like oh he's gonna throw a jab, he's gonna do this, I don't get it I don't get too too into that, but I am a boxing fan, I do watch boxing. So all right, well since you do watch boxing, is you mentioned Lomachenko, he yeah. is fighting Campbell in UK. How do you see that fight playing out? Because it's actually a 50-50 fight. I believe it right, is. Right, right. Um, Luke Campbell, he's great. I watched. I just. I fought on. We fought on the same card. The last, my last fight. Um, I, I got the. I got to see him live. Luke Campbell. Um, he's a great fighter. But you know, Lomachenko is pound for pound one of the best. And um, you just really never know until you get in the ring. But if I w if I was to say, you know, I would favor Lomachenko because of um, who he is. But no, you can't never count Luke Campbell out. Um, he's a. He has a tremendous backing he has a, a tremendous style and he's hungry just like just like uh Lomachenko is so it's a 50 50 fight like you said you, I'm, don't, I'm, you don't have a dog in that fight come on yeah I won't tell anyone <laughs> oh, I won't tell anyone it's Lomachenko I'm, I'm gonna go with Lomachenko okay mm -hmm. I, I, absolutely I'm curious to see if it will be a knockout or the decision um 
I think I think I won't I won't say he's gonna knock Luke Campbell out. No, I I think he'll it'll be a decision. And he just he moved up in weight and stuff like that. So um, I think it will be a decision. How about Devin Haney? He's making some noise. Has he come holler at you? And or yeah, Devin, Devin like, Haney's a good young fighter, and I support all the up and coming prospects. And I wish everybody the best. <laughs> I love that political answer. Now I know I don't ask about, but have you ever busted a move with um, your manager? I'm not a dancer. And this yes, you are. You are a dancer in the ring. You are? Not a dancer. I'm a, I'm oh. a professional boxer. Okay, tell your fans, right. Ring TV fans, all your fans, why they should tune into DAZN September 14th oh, for this big fight. You should, you should tune in to DAZN because I'm fighting. No, it's simple as that. Like, what? Like, what kind of question is that? But, um, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great It's going to be a great show. Um, Ryan Garcia comes to fight. I come to fight. Um, we both have uh, good careers. Um, people supporting us and people backing us. And we have... Um, we both we both can go to the moon after this fight. So um, just tune in, and uh, it's going to be a great it's going to be a great show and a great performance. Right, tell your fans, all your fans, Ring TV fans all around the world, and DAZN why they should tune into your fight September 14th. Hey everybody, tune into the fight because it's going to be a very exciting night on both the main event and co-main event featuring myself. Um, a lot of people are going to be there. You should go if you can. If you can't, watch on DAZN and uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. You're going to wear some Fashion Nova. It was so weird seeing it in the ring. Pacquiao, yeah, yeah, no, the stage, the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna, is it gonna be on you? I don't know. We have to talk to Fashion Nova about that. Yeah. Fashion Nova, you hear that? Your model wants, um, yeah. you know, branded on his ass. We might, we might, <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see. All right. Good luck to you, Ryan. Thank you. All right, I'm Cindy Conti for Ring TV. See you guys at the fights. Bye, guys.